Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Sonic 06. I was actually just looking at the achievements. And I realized, or remembered more so, that some of these achievements are worded terribly. Uh, last hidden story, that's... I found how uh, they were like that, but... Clear unlocked Sonic difficult level mission. What the hell? I mean, that's very different from the whole, like, trying to be all... Riddle-like. Saying this is just... That just seems like English or something. Clear unlocked Sonic, Sonic difficult level mission. Anyways, uh, so... This is actually a portion of this episode, a decent portion at least, is going to be dedicated to me uh, bugging the hell out of a particular level. Sonic Wall can't really. Wait, how how can I select? Yeah. Uh, Kingdom Valley. Show just what you can do with the uh, purple gem. Uh, because Kingdom Valley is the area that's broken the most by it, most definitely. So these long scenes are actually longer than I thought. They were like 20 seconds each, almost, if not. Of course, it would occasionally vary on uh, what was actually being loaded, but not as much as it should, I don't feel. Crap. There you go. I'm not going through this terribly fast, but whatever. Just start playing. Truly speedy indeed. See, I don't actually need to do this. I can just do this. Now, you might say, okay, so I can skip a couple sections like this. But it completely breaks everything. Okay, so you can skip pretty much everything. And boxes are spawning in midair. Why are boxes spawn? Things are appearing in midair. <laughs> tell me something is not wrong here. Okay. Truthfully, tell me that something is not very wrong here. Oh crap, I'm falling. Sometimes that'll happen, you won't actually be able to, uh... Get upwards momentum when using the purple gem, which is kinda weird. Anyways. I don't know why they would let you... Who implements something like this? Honestly! Whoa. This is seriously something that Davis went and said, This should be in the game. They looked at it and said, there is not a problem with this. Huh. Don't be all fancy like. Can Jumping to her, or home, doing a home attack too early. There we go. That didn't accomplish much of anything. So there are very few areas where you actually have to do what was intended. Because for the most part, you can seriously just jump like this. Uh, one of the only areas you have to do what was intended is just riding the eagles, uh, doing transitions to other areas, things like that. Hey. See, now it makes sense that an eagle can carry me. But yes, I'll be going through the whole stage like this. It's particularly when you meet up to Silver that this is... Uh, that you get shown the full capabilities of using this. I mean, I don't know what they expect you to... I don't know what the purpose of this gym is. And there aren't any, like, small little holes, as far as I know, that you can fit through if you're small. It's just that you have infinite jumping. That seems to be the only power granted by this. That actually does anything. Everything's all slow. Oh, yeah. So, silver. Let's just ignore... Whoa. I said let's just ignore silver. So, there's actually an invisible wall. You have to go around. If you want to do... Uh, pay a second silver section. But, 
You can just do this. We're not along. And fly on through. I tell you that this is not abusive. Honestly. The fact that you can do this. I'm not explaining any big glitch or anything either. This is... I'm using an item from the the game gives me. Or like, buy. And this is the only use that the item has. Look at that. Fine looking hedgehog right there. And now the other hedgehog died. Nice, isn't it? Ooh. You know, that regen really doesn't slow things down all that much. It's more than anything, it slows the camera. Which is a big pain in the ass. Now, I can't really let myself be silent during these loading screens because they're so long, but at the same time, I don't really have anything to say during them. I I don't nah. Could we at least like say somewhat useful hints or something on the on that screen? Well I have to speed up before you jump, otherwise you're gonna be slow the whole time. Because the whole max or minimum speed thing is actually not applicable when jumping like this for once. But couldn't they for a Long screens at least say something uh, somewhat useful, like uh, well, tips that are things that you should know if you're playing the game uh, and be able to figure it out on your own because games tend to do that, but uh, not terribly obvious. Like telling you how to do moves you won't even be able to get to this point in the game by doing, like how to jump and do a homing attack or how to slide, which you can actually get through the game without doing, but still, not supposed to be able to. I see that there's a little underwater section somewhere that I can like run on, run on through. I think that was in another area. I think that was in another area that I passed it up actually. This is this is broken beyond repair. Also, this is what this thing was. I passed it up uh, earlier. Thought thinking that it was something along the lines of. Uh, <laughs> the invincibility just makes it seem so much worse. You're invincible and flying. Seems like you're hacking the game or something. But uh, I thought that was like an energy boost or something, like you would have for silver. Oh dear. Screw that, I don't need that. I just dropped more frames, hooray. Do I do have the time on? I drop frames whilst playing this game. It actually doesn't desync up my uh, commentary, like at all. So I am rather happy about that. No, I could probably just go into the great yonder over there if I wanted to. Which I might actually just to see what the hell's over there if I don't hit into a wall, just to show the great abuse that this game enables of itself. Let the camera keep changing so I actually know that I'm moving forwards. Ah, uh, it was all wall. Still. This is not good. If you are making a game and you're able to do this, you have a problem. Now there's also something that I actually uh, said I was going to mention in uh, the last episode or the episode before that, I don't remember, uh, but I never actually did mention, because I got all interrupted by tails and everything. Uh, it's that little meter in the bottom left, I in bottom right, uh, how... Thank you, Sonic, because that's not the goal of platformers. Uh, notice how there's a little bar below the glowing bar, and three little lights uh, below the gem. That little bar that's never ever used in the game uh, is actually supposed to be uh, 
experience for whatever ability that you currently have active, whereas the three little things would indicate your level. Uh, this is actually said in the manual. If you own the manual of this game, go read it and uh, read up on the GUI section, or HUD section, not GUI, and uh, it will say that. It's just so evident that this game was not given the time it was, it was needed. Not everything was done that was intended to be done. Crap. And when it's this clear, you have a problem. You have a very large problem. I shouldn't be able to push rings around like that. That's a real pain. What about the robots? I'm sure it is, Sonic. So I'm just going to finish up with this fancy little section. Because I actually like this running section, unlike probably every other single one. So I, that's a, so I would say that's a pretty big glitch to show off in this episode. How long, I wonder how long I'm going to be able to keep up the whole uh, gl one glit, one major glitch per episode thing. Ah, I can usually do it without dying. I mean, I've been able to do it so far, I would say, to a decent extent. Um. You know, I don't even care that there's absolutely no reason for you to be in this giant wave or anything of the sort. This is just flat out awesome. And this is an example of what the game can be. And how fun and impressive it can be at its best. But the game just didn't get what the uh, time it needed. But I wonder how long I'm able to keep up doing things like this. Like, um, showing huge glitches like I just did every episode, things like that. I, I don't think that I'm really going to be able to do it every episode, I and mean, that is my goal, but still, it's not all terribly realistic of a goal. It's also probably one of the few areas that I actually enjoy the music along with the stage. I generally don't really care for stage music in Sonic games. That was fun. You know, I skipped damn everything. It wasn't really all that fast. No problem, indeed. I can just become a rat and fly everywhere. That lets you do a lot of things in life. Okay, so back uh, to the story. Not sure I'm going to do side missions or uh, the story. I think I might just head for the story. But I would like to show off some more side missions. I never actually have been able to complete every single side mission. I think I may have done all of Sonic's before. I'm not sure about Silver, and I had, I know I haven't been able to do them all for Shadow. Uh, that's not something I ever really tried too terribly much with. Some with a, uh, Mission right over here. Any race? No. Too bad, dude. So isn't it just over by the bells that there is somebody that's actually useful? There's like a big trail up to the bells or something like that. Oh yeah, you actually have to talk to all of them to get to here, don't you? Like, others will appear as you talk to them. Or you can just head on over here. If you're already aware. Maybe these suspiciously placed springs will help. And because... Screw... Everything, I'm just gonna fly to the next bell tower. You know, I would take the time to say I'm not going to just use this... Uh, gem to utterly abuse the entirety of the remainder of the uh, Sonic story, which is actually just one level. Uh, but I can't really say that I 
believe that I'll keep that promise. So I'm not going to fall off anything there. There's the third one. Is it this one? I guess it's this one. I mean, with the general purpose of this eps of this uh, let's play being showing just how glitched to hell this uh, game is. Um, I think that avoiding using glitches would be, in a way, kind of missing the point. Uh, not to say that I'm really feeling obligated to abuse glitches to the false extent possible or anything like that, but um, it aids in showing just how bad the glitches are. Why? do so. Because it's showing that they can be applied to such ridiculous extent extents. So uh, this this area is normally like gated off until you hit all the uh, rings. Oh and actually something that I would have gotten I didn't realize how useful it was. There's a uh, blue gem that you can get that gives you a speed boost when you activate it. It's actually incredibly useful. I just bought it like last week on my main file while screwing around. Uh, and I found it's actually really useful. <laughs> Because uh, it basically keeps you at a, a constant rolling speed. And it's really easy to replenish your speed, things like that. And unlike a roll, whoops, uh, touching things. I hate how you can't cancel out of this. Unlike a roll, touching things will not automatically make you lose all of your speed. It's really nice. So I recommend that for anyone who hates being slow when they're playing as the fastest thing alive. But I digress. Onto the aquatic base. I don't like this place. Well, there aren't really many levels or places that I like in many of the games at all, actually. Actually, some of my favorite games, there isn't really anything that I want to play in them for some reason. Like Blinks the Time Saver, for instance. Or Blinks 2, as well. The there aren't really any levels that I want Tails to play. Let's hurry. Wait, since we're Tails and Knuckles here. Uh, Sonic is seeing things again. What the hell? Was I supposed to... Okay, take two. Ah, very nice. Shit. That's completely use of expo useless explosive box. Really, it's just one stage. I'm actually, uh. Shit. Hey. D do not shoot animals. That's cruelty. Uh. This really is all one stage I I'm getting through with. Uh. Abuse of the Purple Gem. Because the. Uh, hey. Because. What the hell? I didn't follow all of it. Okay. Because the, uh... Other level I just showed in this episode, I had already gone through, normally. This isn't deja vu. Crap. So I don't want to hit things when you are, uh... You still don't want to get hurt when you're... Oh yeah, the Mercury stuff. This is awesome. That tells me a lot, Tails. Thank you. Uh, I love screwing with those things. Just flying everywhere. They make awesome sounds, too. Ow. But, um, if you get hit while you're abusing the uh, purple gem, or take damage, it makes it kind of hard to hit the robots, though. Ugh. Um, hello. I don't like the hitboxes on these things at all. 
anyways, if you get hurt while using Purple Gem, you will, um, the hell? You'll fall and you won't be able to jump again, so, warning. Or I can just fly, Sonic. You can ride the ball, like, some daredevil, or you can just bloody fly to your destination. Make your choice. But yeah, I, I would hope that's been established by this point, that if you're looking for a Let's Play that really showcases what the game has to offer in its entirety, <laughs> that what, um, that it's intended to offer. Aw, oh, come on, I want to fly around. Well, screw you, Tails, I can just fly up there. Um, okay, Sonic is up here. He's actually, he has purple gem equipped, too. Interesting. Uh. Hey. I hardly even remember what I was saying at this point. I hate when that happens. It's also really annoying when it happens when you're watching a Let's Player because, uh. You may have wanted to hear what they have to say. This would be easier with Sonic. Oh, actually recovered from that. That was kind of cool. Crap, I can't tell which ones are real. But, uh. Quite. But, uh. What I was saying was that. Uh, I hope I've established by now that if you're looking for a Let's Play that really showcases what the game's intended to offer, um, that this is not one. This is just show showcasing the glitches of the game, uh, along with the playthrough of it. <laughs> it just so happens, mainly, that showing all these glitches comes well in the form of a Let's Play throughout the, uh, playing throughout the game, because there are glitches through, e through the uh, stages. Why do they even have these things here? The, uh, lasers. I, I can just fly right over them. I, and this time I'm actually intended to be able to fly. Wholly intended, at least. Can I not be the freakishly mutated fox now? Mutated fox child. Turn this thing on. That little uh, pole thing. Yeah, and I'll kill the enemies for me. Oh god, I almost fell there. Die. It's quite the laser. Ow. Oh, what the hell, man? Thank you. What do you mean, just wait, Sonic? Sonic's following you. It's not like you're. <laughs> yes, I'm actually going used to them using telepathy. And. Sonic is somewhere else. Teleportation. Beautiful. Now, can I just fly places again? I personally find this to be a lot simpler. No, that's not right. I have to go. Ow. This bolts are also the size of me, if not. Here we go, I think. No, this is just a secret room that you're supposed to go with tails, I think. Yeah, this thing has. This thing will just kill enemies in the nearby area. Well, that was useful, Light Dash. Just kick this thing, it'll kill pretty much all the robots. Piece of cake. No, 
Yeah, when you use other things to kill your enemies for you. Okay, end of this episode. Hooray!